Welcome back to Animal of the Week. This week is the Sega Antelope, a normal looking antelope until you see its face, then you start to question your sanity as you stare at its miniature trunk. Sega antelopes live in the huge steppe of Central Asia and Western Asia, but they had an even larger range during the last glacial period. They used to live from the British Isles all the way through Central Asia, over the Bering Strait and into Northwest Territories of Monday Canada. These large open plains allow for the huge herds of Sega antelope to migrate all over the place and provide them everything they need to survive. Sega antelopes are even known to live in the more desert climates of Mongolia and Kazakhstan. These antelopes feed on the abundance of grass, bushes, shrubs and any other kind of plant life on the steppe. In desert areas they'll feed on any plant life they can. Sega antelopes are known to be able to eat many plants that are poisonous to other animals and humans. Male Sega antelopes will fight viciously to control a harem of anywhere from 5 to 50 females that only he can mate with. Once mated, the females give birth to twins most of the time. Sega antelopes give birth to very developed young that are able to walk and run quickly after birth. This is crucial for them as on the large open steppes and plains, baby Sega antelopes are vulnerable to anything from wolves to eagles. However, the babies being so well developed when born puts the mothers under an enormous amount of stress, especially as they generally give birth to two. This can lead to the mass deaths of Sega antelopes that have been observed to occur rather regularly. Tens to hundreds of thousands of Sega antelopes can all die within days, all in the same area, due to the fact that they all conjugate together to give birth. You're probably wondering, what's with the nose? Well, it's an amazing adaptation to the environment the Sega antelopes live in. During the hot dry summers out on the dusty plains, the nose acts as a filter to stop the dust that has been kicked up by the herd from being inhaled. The nose also helps cool down the animal in the summer as it has a large surface area. During the winter the plains and steppe descend to frigid temperatures due to the lack of any cover from the elements. The nose helps here as well. Due to its downward tilt, when the antelope breathes out it warms the air right around the mouth and nose which it then breathes in again. This whole system limits the loss of body temperature and keeps the antelope warmer out in the cold open plains. In the wild, Sega antelopes, and most predominantly their young, are preyed on by wolves, foxes and eagles. Just as how bison move in large packs to avoid wolves, so do Sega antelopes. More similarities can be drawn between North American bison and Sega antelopes, such as the mass slaughter of Sega antelopes for meat, hide and horns that drove them to near extinction, just as it did the bison in North America. In the 1920s, Sega antelopes were near extinction due to the mass export of their horns. Under the Soviet Union, Sega antelope populations rose due to hunting laws, but after the collapse of it, the chaos of different republics gaining independence and restructuring their governments caused a huge decline in their numbers from poachers killing them unregulated by any government for their horns and selling them to be used as traditional Chinese medicines. As said previously in the video, when Sega antelopes give birth, it weakens them significantly. This causes mass mortalities as disease becomes rife in the weakened herds, which isn't uncommon for ungulates, the group that Sega antelopes are in, which includes animals like zebra and deer. However, due to climate change, warmer weather occurs in the areas where Sega antelopes live. Warmer climates are great for bacteria to grow in, which has caused larger and larger mass mortalities for Sega antelopes, as bacteria moves into the Sega antelopes' bloodstreams, causing hemorrhagic septicemia, which then spreads through the entire herd, killing them in the tens or hundreds of thousands. To help the Sega antelope, all we can really do is support anti-poaching charities and programs and slow down or reverse climate change, which is far, far easier said than done. But let's hope we don't see this wonderfully bizarre looking animal go extinct anytime soon. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.